What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Pimp, and I'm back with another video. Man, so today, well, before I get to talking about what we're doing today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, share this video, all that good shit. So, welcome to the Pimp Show if you new to the channel. Anyway, so today, on this video, I want to talk about my favorite shoes in the whole wide world. Actually, it's a tie. So it's a, it, my favorite shoes in the whole wide world are J's and Air Force Ones. Those are my shoes. I love all shoes. I got all variety type of shoes, but those are my shoes. And the last couple of years, I haven't been buying them how I used to buy them uh, when I was younger because one, the price is just outrageous. You know, two, they make you do too much to get them. And it's like, I'm not going through all these loops and holes and paying all this extra stuff. So if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. Um, so let's just get into the video. So I said my favorite shoe is Air Force Ones and, and Jordans. So today I'm just gonna focus on J Jordans. In particular, my favorite Jordan is the number fives. Um, the number um, 11s is a close, 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 close. Very close to the number one. But my favorite Jordan shoe is the number fives. Man, the number fives came out in 1990. You know, so back then, shit, I think men's size was $125. Kids size, you know, big kids size, maybe 80. You know, little kids size at the time, like my size was like 40, 50. You know, and I think baby shoes is in the 20s. Cheap as fuck. <laughs> Now y'all see why I refuse to buy shit or pay double the price. Uh, I know that the first colors were, I want to say fire red. It was like a black and, I don't know if that was gold or metallic. Uh, it was um, two other colors. Uh, let me see if I got the J. Uh -oh. Let me see if I got them, y'all. Uh-oh, what y'all do? Okay, yeah, I do. So, the first J's, these are actually the retro though, but the first J's, well, the Jordan 5's, I, I should say, were this color, a black color, and two other colors. I can't think of them right now. And you know, that was all the way in 99. Um, but that came out, and when I say I fell in love with that shoe, I fell in love with that shoe. I remember when Jordan had the shoe on and everything. The cool thing about the fives is like they was the first ones to have the the clear sole at the bottom. And they also was the first to have like that foamy tongue on the shoe. So, and then um, also, believe it or not, you gotta give Will, uh, Will Smith some credit because I think he made the number fives uh definitely popular but he used to ha uh, have his shoe strings out and he had the grapes the grapes it was the grapes the black ones this color and another color but the grapes are definitely definitely a classic um i can tell y'all something i love the landley shoe which is um the lanny sorry y'all which is the colors of the high school that he went to and I have a problem with, I have a huge problem with throwing away shoes or giving shoes away when you know you should give them away. So I still have, I have bought this for my birthday to myself. I still have the first time they retro the Landley High School, the white and the blue varsity. Now I'm keeping this shoe because this is my favorite shoe. Yeah, you know, this is from 2000. I still have this shoe. As you can tell, as you can tell, the change in colors at the bottom. That's the only thing about the clear sole, like it changed to that color. And I'm keeping this shoe because I really want to find somebody who can uh, restore for me. Uh, so if y'all know anybody who can restore Jays, please let me know. I'm not gonna pay an arm and a leg now, but if you could restore these, 
back to some, I'm talking about, I haven't seen people restore and, and get, make this clear again. If you can do that for your girl, please let me know in the comments below. But I had got this for my birthday back in 2000. I remember, because I had a job. I, uh, I was working at McDonald's and I was working for, was at the same time I was working for this um, internet company where I corrected web websites for grammar errors and things of that nature. Uh, my auntie Deborah, she worked down the street, so that worked out perfectly. I did that the whole summer. But I had bought these for my birthday. But they came out after my birthday, and I said, ooh, when I saw it in East Bay um, booklet, you know, coming soon, you know, only old heads know about East Bay, I said, I'm getting these. And when I say, yeah, I wore the hell out of these shoes. I just recently stopped wearing them. Like, I would wear these, like, if I was going to work out or they got the garbage or something, but I do not want to get these up. So, you know, anybody from the store, let me know. But these are the first time, the first colorway that got retro in 2000. I remember, May. Look at that. So that's my one of my, well, this is my favorite five colorway. Um, then these, I like these. I didn't buy these, my, but these are my best friends and she wasn't feeling them, so she gave them to me. And uh, I wore the hell out of these cause, because at first, when I first looked at them, I'm like, oh, no, that's too much. But when they on my feet, oh man, y'all, when they on my feet and they low key still look good, you know, it's just me, this part that changes colors, which is crazy because I keep my shoes in the box. I'm surprised the bottom is not as yellow as the side. But I always keep my shoes in a box. And this one I didn't have a box for, but it still look, if I can get these restored, oh, give me on popping. All righty. Let's go to my recent favorite shoes. So I like the Lanley. So of course I have to get the reverse. And these came out, was it last year? I think these came out last year, but yeah, I love these. Just the reverse color of the Milani from 2000. And I love the sway on it. The only thing I hate nowadays is they are using that hard ass leather on shoes and not just J's, but a lot of shoes. I guess that's the cheaper route, but I love these, they fives. Okay, but this colorway, most definitely. Most definitely. Just because I love the Lanley color. All right. Glad I got this out. The next favorite number five colorway is these. And I believe I got these this year. I believe. But classic color, can't go wrong with the fire red and the black. I mean, you just can't. And as you see, they still nice and crispy and white. Um, yeah, I usually write the date on my boxes on when I get them. Cause you know, a lot of people don't believe how clean my shoes be and I'm telling them how old they are. Like I'm doing another video on some shoes that are at least five years and up, and y'all are just gonna be shocked. Just shocked. Ugh. Get this in the box. Ooh. My bad, y'all. But, and you know, Jordan's changed the box as well. Um, they changed the box. I got some old school boxes, but changed it to this type of box now. As you see, it used to be this box. And I think I have an old school box. Like, they bring the old school Nike box back because Jordan's used to come in the old school brown Nike box. And I believe some came in the orange box. I could be lying, but I know the brown box for sure. Ugh, right up there. I know a lot of people don't keep their boxes, but I do. Uh, and yes, they be kind of bulky, but 
You know, it is what it is. So the next pair of number fives that I love, and I finally got the second time around, is the, what's the, what they call these, the Chicago Bulls. That's the fucking Chicago Bulls. Retro five. You can't go wrong with this. You know, put on a, a all black jogging suit with like a red shirt. You want you want me styling, but this is my favorite colorway as well. I'm just showing y'all a couple of my favorites. Uh, all right. Oh, I really got an old school box. This is a little, uh, no, I don't have an old school box. Okay, it's a little box. And of course, the most recent ones I have, and I got for my birthday gift to myself. You already know. Ooh. I've worn these already maybe five, six times already. But I love them. I love them. I love them. I love this color. This one and, and the red one with the white as dominant, you, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I, I love these. So, the number five. So I just want to show y'all a couple of my favorite number, uh, favorite shoe, Jordan shoe, which is the number five. My absolute favorite. Like I said, if you know anybody who restores shoes, please let me know. Um, reasonable price. Don't try to overdo it. Because, I mean, I know you got to make your money and you make your profit, but some of y'all just be overdoing it. But, you know, like I said, if you know anybody who restore, they're reasonable, please make a comment down below and let me know. Also, follow me on my other uh, social medias. I'm on Instagram at the Real Pimp 84 and I'm also on Snapchat, Sally Helper Five. You know, I like the number five. And you know, the number five always come to me like whether I'm doing something. I remember when I had pledge, it, it, I, I got the number five. Just a lot, I don't know, something about the number five. So I always just stuck with it. That's that's my number right there. So, like I said before, Snapchat, I mean Snapchat. Like I said before, YouTube, I really appreciate y'all coming and showing your girl some love. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, you know, what else y'all want to see. Like I said, I'm going to do some more shoe videos of my favorite shoes. I'm, I'm going to hit y'all with some old school shit and y'all going to be like, damn, I forgot about that. So, like I said, make sure y'all subscribe. And then if you want to be notified, make sure you hit that little bell and all that good stuff. And check out my other videos. So until the next video, my people, I will see y'all later. It's your girl, Pimp. Peace.